Hi you! How are you doing? So this is a bit different video as I'm actually in the travel modes and this is the first out of uh, many which I'll be re recording in a slightly different setup as obviously within travel I don't have access to my studio so I'm trying lately to create some other things as this is the beginning of the travel and also I'll be creating a separate channel for traveling within this year as a lot of cool things are and changes happening in my life. So today I would like to talk about the 18th BNB burn which is already complete so as the bnb mm, auto burn procedure which is the 18th quarterly bnb burn the amount of bnb is just huge it's one million six hundred and eighty four thousand three hundred eighty seven and to be honest it's not 1.6 million of dollars it's 1.6 million of bnb so when you look at the amount of uh, you know how actually how much is worth i'll actually go to exchange bnb usdt and let's see at uh, the current price of 369 when i record this video so when we put 1 million it was 640 so I'll put more or less with those three zeros and then total, right? That's $768 million. Over $700 million got burned in that auto quarterly burn. That's pretty amazing as obviously the less circulation of BNB we see on the market, then obviously we can see the increase in price. When you actually look at the bit of a long-term solution, we look at the price of um, BNB. So for example, what I'll do, I'll go to CoinMarketCap and within CoinMarketCap, I will search for BNB, right? And let me show you how did it change? Because I remember when BNB, you know, was for like 20 bucks uh, over a year ago. And like we see over the year, it went from, um, I would go look at literally at the like beginning of Jan. 20th of Jan, 2021, $42. And right now it's worth 469. I saw that uh, through the year it had a peak of uh, 675. So, you know, it's a it's a big project. And why I believe that this um, BNB has a great potential. There are obviously many factors to it. But since we're talking about the BNB burn, uh, I would like to cover that. The main thing is obviously it belongs to the um, exchange, which is the biggest exchange in the world, which has the biggest volume as well in the world. So that's, I think, the major and a key factor for it. But the second thing is that obviously a lot of things are right now based on the Binance Smart Chain. So we see that there is a lot of technology which are built on Binance Smart Chain, a lot of tokens built on Binance Smart Chain. So I know that this token will grow. I actually have a feeling one day it will reach a similar price to Ethereum as, you know, it follows the same path but with much lower fees and a faster transaction. So this is something which for me, I believe it's a much better technology and much useful as obviously if you're using, you know, a pancake swap or stuff like that, it's much, much cheaper to buy some maybe new tokens or new releases versus the Uniswap. But obviously I think it's a great thing and looking at you know, there is over $700 million less right now in circulation. I have a feeling that over the next months, you know, that will be even better and better. As obviously, if the amount of the tokens is getting lower and lower, that's better, obviously, for the project itself, right? But what's really cool is that also a part of that burn is going to the Pioneer Burn program. And what is that about? If you've never heard about it, I think it's a pretty cool uh, feature of Binance. So what they do is that for lost tokens, which are either BNB wrapped tokens, WBNB or PEC tokens like BTCB supported via the Binance token canal, the lost tokens can be in a way uh, recovered. So Binance is covering your losses for the cases accepted for that initiative. So thanks to it, if someone, you know, uh, send the token to uh, kind of like a wrong address or something went wrong with the Binance. So, you know, that loss can be publicly justified or recognized as a moving the asset of the out of circulation cannot be brought back together forever. Also, uh, losses from an honest mistake, which is worth more than a thousand dollars, but is less than projected BNB burn amount in the upcoming quarter. So this is pretty cool project because because of it, you know, lots of people can actually recover some of the losses. And, uh, you know, uh, I think it makes it a bit different um, for the Binance approach. I think in general, I like working with Binance as, uh, you know, they're sharing a lot of cool stuff as with this outer burn, I have a feeling that, you know, 
when it happens quarterly and less money and less actually, sorry actually less token is in the um circulation that it's a great news for bnb coin and that's why i also hold it for the long term so this is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed that as you can see it's a really bit of a different setup if you always have some good recommendations guys let me know and soon i'll be launching a, a, a second channel which will be actually more of my lifestyle and a vlog and talking a bit more about the travel as well so this is it i hope you enjoyed that and well see you in the next video take care